Hello, Scorpios. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of June 2nd to June 8th. This reading is for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have Scorpio in your birth chart, this reading is for you and may resonate with your situation. Again, this is a general reading for the week of June 2nd to June 8th for the sign of Scorpio. I'm going to shuffle one more time and then I will begin your reading. Okay. Spirit, what is the overall energy for the sign of Scorpio? What is the overall energy? Oh, okay. Let's see what the cards say. We have judgment. This is your card. Scorpio energy came out in your own reading. The chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer or have cancer in your chart. We have the nine of wands. We have the four of cups. Your current energy starting off is the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles. What is the current energy for the sign of Scorpio? What is the current energy? Okay. We have the sun card. Could be dealing with a Leo. Or have Leo in your chart. Someone around you could be a Leo. We have the six of wands. Future energy. The seven of swords. The seven of swords. The king of wands. Have a lot of fire energy. So you could definitely have a fire sign around you. What is the future energy for the sign of Scorpio? What is the future energy for the sign of Scorpio? Okay. The Eight of Cups. I have the Eight of Cups. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, right now with the Judgment card... As your current energy, you or someone could be making a judgment call. Could have something to do. You could be trying to re to revive a relationship. You want to re. You might want to renew a relationship or something like that. But. There's like a revival of a relationship there. Your past energy was the chariot. So you could you could have either been dealing with a cancer, have cancer in your chart. You could possibly want to move forward with someone or you want to move on from someone. Or the energies could be vice versa because you... Or this person, this other person, were working hard in, within the situation. And maybe you felt like it, you weren't getting anywhere, so you're moving on. Because someone isn't taking your cup of love with this four of cups being here. You feel like someone isn't taking your cup of love. You're bored. You were bored. You were trying to get this situation going. So you decided that you were going to move forward. Your current energy, again, the five of pentacles, someone is walking away. Someone is walking away. Could be from a marriage, a long-term relationship, but someone's walking towards happiness. Someone wants to be happy with the six of wands. They want to be successful. 
And with the future energy, this person is going to guard themselves. Or this could be you. You or this person could be guarding yourselves in the future. But someone could be coming in to take action within the situation. Someone could be trying to come in to take action with this King of Wands or going, or this could be someone guarding themselves single and moving on to con continuing to be single and guarded because someone doesn't feel the love. They don't see the love. They turn their back on love within this situation with their Eight of Cups. So let's clarify and see what's going on for you, Scorpio. That was straight to the point. Someone is moving on. Spirit, why is a chariot card here for the sign of Scorpio? Why is the chariot card here for the sign of Scorpio? Why is the chariot card here? Okay. Wow. Chariot card here again. The chariot over the chariot. Someone is definitely moving on because of a heartbreak or a third party situation or something like that. Why is the four of cups here for the sign of Scorpio? Why is the four of cups here for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? That's too many. But I see the one that I'm going to take. We have the Double in Reverse. Why is the Sun card here? For the sign of Scorpio. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Page of Wands. Someone is definitely dealing with a fire sign. We have the Nine of Wands here again. Why is the King of Wands here? Someone is definitely dealing with a fire sign. Maybe a Leo specifically. Four cards came out. I'm going to take all four. You have the Page of Pentacles here. The Knight of Swords. It's a lot of masculine energy on this um, in this reading. We have the Fool card. And we have the World card. Yeah, someone is moving forward. And they're not, they're not looking back. All right, so you have your past energy. You had the Chariot card. And clarifying this card was the chariot. So someone definitely moved on from a could have been a past situation, like a, a past relationship. But someone definitely moved on with their life because some because they felt like they were working hard towards something and they weren't getting anywhere. Could have been because of a third party or too many people involved or some type of heartbreak. And with this four of cups, Scorpio, you could have came in with a cup of love because cups represents your energy. And maybe the other person didn't take it because the cup is just hanging there. And this person that's sitting on in this field, they're not even taking a cup. And with the Queen of Wands, it's because they know their worth. This person knows their worth. So they decided that they're not going to take that cup. They're moving forward. with the. They're walking away with the Five of Pentacles. Because they don't want to be bothered or deal with toxicity with the double card in the reverse. They don't want to deal with toxic energy. So they're walking away to happiness and fulfillment with the Sun card. 
And with the Knight of Wands, they could this you or this person, someone could be changing homes, going on a long journey, coming in. Someone, okay. So you or this person wants to be happy because whomever this other person is was coming in and out of the life, someone's life. Weren't sticking around, could have had multiple people. And this other person decided that they wanted to move on to success with the Six of Wands. They wanted to move on to success. And they're going to be, um, yeah, they're, they're moving on to success. And they are going to get good. They're going to good things are going to come into this to to whomever it is you or this person, whomever it is that decided to move on from being in this toxic relationship. They're going to have some type of good news or good good fortune or good luck or something. <clears throat> the future energy is the seven of swords. So you or this person could be guarding yourselves, protecting, defending your position. And with the nine of wands again, you're working hard to defend your position. You or this person. Because you want to move on with your life, and be single, go out on your own, go out on your own. Because... You want financial stability or stability in love with this page of pentacles. Or either someone you want to move on and be single because maybe someone was being immature, acting young. Or you could be moving on because you want a positive outcome. You could be moving on by yourself because you want a positive outcome. Someone's not taking these cups. They're walking away. Someone is walking away. And they're walking away because the other person was immature, could have had some type of chaotic behavior, and they want a new journey. They, or this person could have been juggling as well. Because this represents juggling, um, having multiple things to do. But someone was could have been, um, could be moving on to a new journey in their life. Yeah, because the world card came out with it. Someone wants a new, um, someone wants to move forward. They want to move forward. They don't want to deal with this toxic energy at all anymore. And they are not even looking back. So this could be you, Scorpio, or this other person. Someone is moving forward. They're not looking back. Um, they're letting it go from what I see. Let's see what your love oracle cards say. And I don't even see this other person coming back in. Spirit, can I have a love oracle card? Okay. We have photograph. It says, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. So this is you or that person. Someone is reminiscing. But from what I'm seeing, this is this is over. Let's see what spirit, what my such spirit has for you. Okay. <clears throat> spirit, what message do you have for the sign of Scorpio? What message do you have? What a sign of Scorpio. Okay. 
Okay. It says religion. Okay, so this could have something to do with someone's religious belief. Someone's religious belief. Maybe someone needs to say a prayer. Maybe someone needs to say a prayer. Maybe someone needs to pray to find peace within a situation. Maybe someone needs to speak and get advice from a religious person. So, that's what I'm seeing. So, Scorpio, that is your reading for the week of June 2nd to June 8th. I thank you for watching. If this reading resonates with your situation, share, like, subscribe. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you like my energy, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for upcoming videos so you can be notified when I um, post new videos. Be safe out there. I'm sending lots of love, light, peace, and healing energy to you and your family as well as to the world. Um, I thank you for watching again. And try to enjoy this week. Meditate. Light some candles, some sage, play some music. Just to keep your, your, your energy uplifted, your spirit, whatever you call it. But um, thank you again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.